Welcome back everyone, or welcome if you are new here. I'm Whitney and this is my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and uh, trying on a few products, or a couple products I guess, from the Kylie X Grinch collection. This collection launched on November 19th, but it sold out in like less than five minutes. I was freaking there on the site early and I had the items I wanted in my cart. They were there. I was waiting in line for the longest time and finally the checkout page popped up for like a second and then it was gone and I was back in line. Like what? Finally, after waiting in line for like I don't know, it felt like forever. <laughs> well, I got to the cart and uh, a lot of the items that I wanted were gone. Less than five minutes. Less than a minute probably, everything. I don't know, it just seemed like everything sold out so quickly and I just, I think this launch I feel like they should have had way more inventory and I feel like this sh definitely shouldn't have happened. I mean, freaking, it's the Grinch. A lot of people love the Grinch. I mean, it's a huge, it's, it's, it was a huge collection. I mean, just seeing um, the PR that she was signing didn't look like a lot and I'm like, if that's any indication as to what the inventory is like for the other products, then there's not gonna be too much. Um, I know on her Instagram stories, she put that there was like, I don't know, there was million, she, it, she showed how many people were on the site and there was millions. It's like, I don't think you ordered millions upon millions, 20 million of each thing, but I could be wrong, I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, I really wanted the eyeshadow sticks. I am very upset I didn't get them. I know it's totally vain, you know, I it's makeup, it's, you know, it's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. But I really wanted it and it just seemed like, I don't know, the way this year's going, it's like, really? Really, Kylie, really? Oh, but get this. People are selling these items. Uh, you know, they bought the Grinch collection, whatever, for thousands of dollars. I was looking online for the eyeshadow sticks. The cheapest I found was like 180. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay that. So I do have to tell you guys a story. All right, so there's another person I was on messaging about who had the eyeshadow sticks listed as 200, whatever, insane, right? Yeah. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna message, see if they'll want to trade or something. And if they do, well then, sweet. So this is in the Posh app, right? And you know how you can put together a bundle and then message the seller with that bundle? So I, I did that and I asked if she would be open for a trade if she found anything in my closet that she wanted. And she's like, yes. And then she found something that she wanted. She create, added that to her bundle, whatever. Then she messaged me back and she's like, what do you, what do you want? What do you want from my closet? It's like, I just said I wanted the eyeshadow sticks. Not only did I say that, but I also messaged you where it shows a picture on the item that I am messaging you about. Anyways, so she's like, I want to trade something for equal value. And it's like, 
okay, well you picked something from my closet that, you know, I purchased for 80 bucks and was selling it for like 60. And she lists the eyeshadow sticks at 200 and you know they retailed for 24 bucks. It's like, wait, so you want something of the same value? Then why don't you pick something out that's cheaper in my closet? No, um, she, obviously she meant, uh, no, she wants something that's worth $200. It's like, oh, well, hey, you know what? I can edit the price on that jacket, on that Victoria's Secret hoodie, just like you did on those shadow sticks, you know? Bam, that's $200 too. Oh my God, people. It's like, you know, a lot of times I do list my uh, products or whatever I'm selling on there higher than what, oh my God. <sighs> higher than what I'm asking just because Posh takes 20%. And you do get those people who, you know, a lot of times I'm expecting somebody to make an offer because most of the time, most people do. Yeah, so most of the time it's just like, <laughs> honestly, you're just breaking even. So, yeah. But I went ahead and ordered two Grinch lip kits just in case um, one of my friends and you know who you are because you're watching this video and you know, we haven't like met in person, but you know, um, just in case there's, there's a few of you who, you know, love Kylie products as much as me and just in case you didn't get it, I, I, yeah. So. And I'm still waiting to make sure you get that package. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I decided to go ahead and put it up on Posh as, you know, I haven't received it yet or anything. So, of course, I, I did like everybody else is doing and I put it like at, I did like that other girl did and put it at 200. And she said something to me about me selling that for 200. It's like, I don't even have the product in my hands right now. So I don't expect anybody to purchase it for 200. It's basically a placeholder until I get the actual package. That way nobody will purchase it, but they know that it's going to be available and they know that I will have it and they can shoot me a message just like I did you and say, hey, would you accept whatever? Would you wanna trade? Would you do this, that? Like, look, send, send me an offer, you know? And it's like, <laughs> I don't even have, like, come on now. Okay, I don't even have a picture of the receipt on there and I, especially without any proof of purchase. I am not going to be selling anything that's that crazy amount, especially when I can't prove that I legitimately purchased it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not, that's definitely not fair. So if uh, the person who I'm referring to ends up, uh, hopefully, she ends up with her package and, uh, but I'm just gonna wait, make sure she gets it. And if she doesn't, if she doesn't, if she doesn't, that's going to her and uh, yeah. If not, I might end up selling it or I might just re-gift it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's just dive in. This is what you guys really wanted to know, right? You didn't need any of that other stuff. All right, today we have a pen. And actually this was in my makeup brush holder. I don't know why, I guess I threw it in my desk and I have my makeup brushes in there and yeah. I'm so excited. 
Oh my god! Oh. You guys, I about lost it. I did order two of the glosses and I thought there was only one in there. I was like, no, I paid for two. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, oh, you guys, oh my God, this is so cute. I, oh, you guys are gonna love this if you get it. And if you didn't, I am so freaking sorry. Freaking go tag Kylie's Twitter and Instagram and everything and tell her that she needs to restock this, okay? Because that's what I've been doing, telling her that she needs to restock this. I'm really lucky that I was able to get what I did. <laughs> so cute! Oh, You guys! It's even cooler in person. Like, I wish you guys... It, It just, it doesn't do justice. Like you guys can't, ugh, that makes me, I'm, I try to get it as best as I can, but yeah. Okay. So this high gloss packaging is obviously a face of the Grinch. Um, and the Santa hat he's wearing is a sparkly red. I love the glitter. Kylie did excellent on this packaging. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is just amazing. So the eyes are a shiny reflective, not reflective, but the eyes are shiny and they are glossy to the touch. Um, this part of the packaging is more of like a matte feel to it. The black outlining of the Santa hat is also slippery and then the white is matte as well. So then I'm just gonna turn this around for you guys. So we have Kylie X the Grinch in green reflective writing and then the outside of the packaging is a bright green. So this is a little ornament or if you wanted to, you could like totally do like, okay, one of my friends in high school she used to <laughs> she used to put um safety pins and wear them as earrings just whatever but you could like totally put a safety pin in there and just like safety pin it and then just like wear it as an earring oh my god <laughs> okay this is a fun collection kylie this is awesome i i say that like she's actually gonna be watching it Okay, so I was saying the eyeshadow sticks. Oh, I didn't get, but I've been watching reviews of the Grinch collection. And I came across somebody. Her name is Layla. And you guys, she has this video. I, I will link it in the description box. Yeah, she actually lists a bunch of dupes. She gives you guys dupes and she shows you what they, what the products look like, like what the dupes look like. And honestly, I was really impressed. Actually, like NYX has uh, the shadow sticks and they're super affordable. I was looking at them online though and I don't think they're all vegan. So yeah. Anyways, let's get down into this. Okay, freak. Let's see, did she do anything on the inside of the packaging? No, it's just plain, in case you guys don't believe me. Oh my gosh, oh wait, I thought it would be like coming out of his head. You know like the people do like, oh what's behind your ear? This is so hard to get out actually. Okay, no, wait, I should, I'll just do it from the bottom maybe. Oh my God. You guys, freaking Kylie, you have to do a restock. Come on, you have to. The people who missed out on your products, you, come on.
per usual, we have a clear vial. And then we have Kylie X the Grinch written in a shiny reflective green. The cap for this high gloss is a bright red. Sorry, there's just like, oh, it's glitter from the packaging. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie, you guys, this pack, this encasing does not thrill me. I am, I wish she would have done the cap like this reflective green here. Or even the green, like the lime green that, you know, or not, I guess it's not lime green, but this green here for the cap. To me, it these just don't go together. If we take a look at her last year's high gloss versus this one, like that shiny, like I think she could have totally done that with this one. I just, uh And I guess part of the whole thing for me is that <laughs> one of the things, the lid does not match the writing. I. It just, it bothers me. I don't know. It really, it really does. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch this for you. It smells good. <laughs> oh! Wow, okay, I don't have anything like this. Wow. Ooh. Okay, I'll let you guys look. Snow Capped is a sheer warm honey with gold and green sparkles. That is so beautiful. Honestly, I have never seen anything like it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, actually, were my lips already, like, kind of colored or no? Sometimes they just, like, go almost pale. Not, like, pale, but, like, yeah. Anyways. Put up the lights there. Like a snowman in my night airs. Pine needles and marijuana in your hair. And I swear, these nights ain't they rough. When December come around, tis the season of the cuff. Keep my mind out the gutter. Make food with extra butter. Make do with something other than you. Another lover. So these reunions and black liver Fridays. We lost in nostalgia. If I had it my way, I roll down the window of this Nissan sleigh. Soup up everyone I never get to see these days. Put the house party together. Let the champagne rain. Maybe the world's gone bad, but the Hennessy ain't. Maybe we all gone mad. Maybe the news all fake. But see the cruise all here so let your homeboy paint i've been around these states you know the red and the blue i know we all I have lip gloss in my hair now she gotta I love this christmas that. but it ain't with me i watch the snow falling down like it's rag city <laughs> back to my hometown back to the whiskey back to <gasps> okay i am really happy i got that it makes me wish that i would have been able to get more from the collection oh wait ew is this oh my god no way. Mm. Ew! I think this is somebody's rubber glove. Like, I think it broke off, honestly. Ew! <gasps> it didn't fall off! Ew, it's stuck in there! Okay, so we don't have anything on the inside and I know I've got to show you guys the outside of the packaging. So we have Kylie X the Grinch written in green glitter and then we have a matte red package and then we have the green on the sides 
Also, we of course have the Grinch on the packaging. So the Grinch is partially matte. His arms are actually a slippery green and his face, of course, his eyes are that slippery and part of his little hair is. We also have the little scribbles around the Grinch, which are white and red. The little scribbling around the Grinch does go all the way out to the sides. And this is also that slippery texture. So on the back, this is pretty nice. I love it when Kylie does this, it is so cute. We have the to and from, and then it is outlined in that reflective green. It's so cute. Okay, let's open this baby on up again. We, we're doing this again. Oops. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, just real quick. Okay, just, just real quick, hang on. I have to show you guys, this is last year's. Oh, so cute. Okay, this is really cute. So we have the Grinch here and he is just, it's, it's basically a shadow of the Grinch. Let's, let's just be real here. So Kylie X the Grinch written in that black as well. And then we have, obviously this is a red. So then for the tube of liquid lipstick, the vial is of course see-through and we have Kylie X the Grinch written in that shiny reflective green, just like we did with the high gloss, except for this time on the red cap, we have faces of the Grinch. You know, I'm glad she did something with the cap. I often give you guys my ideas on what I think she should have done and I don't know. Now looking at this, no, the green, okay. The Grinch head needs to be green, that shiny green. That's what we need. I'm just never satisfied. I mean, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, my swatches are kind of horrible, but yeah. So as always, we have the liner at the top. The next one is the liquid lipstick with the liner underneath. And the last one is of course the liquid lipstick. So this lip kit is called How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How the Grinch Stole Christmas liquid lipstick is a strawberry red and How the Grinch Stole Christmas lip liner is a deep strawberry. Oh, I feel like they look the same to me. And as usual, stay tuned so that you will see swatch comparisons later on in the video. Rudolph, how you do that? Kind of messed up. <laughs> Tell me how you do that. Oh, I know how you do that. The lip liner feels like her regular lip liner. As always, I love her lip liner formula. It is creamy, it's soft, but not like too soft. And yeah, I just don't like the pencil that they are in. Wow, this is so much stronger. Rudolph, Rudolph, tell me how you fly so
it actually feels softer than her normal formula. Hmm. We're going to let this sit for a while before we add the high gloss just to see, you know. So I've got a few different swatches for you guys. So here we have ochre, and that one is way more of a fuchsia than a strawberry. This is the Naughty List from last year's lip kit, which is far more red and is more to be like a true red. So I just added Mary Jo over here, and this is more of a red with a blue undertone, so it is very different from those ones here. And this one right here is nearly identical to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It is Bad Little Thing, and oh, and it's a little bit darker and a little more on the nude side than How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Just wait. Down here we have Jordy, which is more of a mauve color. So right here we have red velvet, which is definitely <laughs> way, way on the red side compared to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This one right here is gold. Now this one is more deep, or t this one is more deep toned and it is less of a red, more of a nude and definitely has more of a mauve element to it. Here we have 22, which is more orange. You guys, I just realized I swatched one of them twice. That would be Mary Jo. So, yeah. Um, um, here we have the shade Boss, which is more of a red, but it is that toned down red, just kind of like how this one is a bit, but you know, just, more of, I want to say like a milky color. It's not like a true red or anything. So that does it for swatch comparisons. Um, like I said, I don't have anything that resembles this high gloss at all. So yeah, it's been about 12 minutes, oh, I guess, since Christmas this has been on. Tree. And oh, Christmas tree, been wondering just what you mean to me. Oh, Christmas tree. Honestly, it actually feels really nice. Like, it doesn't feel stiff. It's not crumbly or anything. I mean, like, sometimes, sometimes it's iffy on her formula, but I want to say this one feels so much different than her standard formula in that it doesn't feel as drying. It really doesn't. And it, it feels more lightweight. Huh. Anyways, let's go ahead and try the high gloss over top of it. My cousins too. My brothers flew in this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the gloss over top of it. I like the gloss by itself and I like this liquid lip by itself, but not together. I'm just really not feeling it. Uh, my final thoughts. I really like it. Um, I'm sorry if you missed out. Uh, tell her she needs to restock. Um, but yeah, if you missed out on this lip kit, don't worry because bad little thing is nearly identical to it, okay? It's a little, it's a little, it's a, it's a little bit more nude than this one, just 
just a tiny bit. Also, these products are great, but I do not by any means think they are worth paying $200 or more, or even, I don't know, I, if you really wanted them, I guess I, I wouldn't, I, I really wouldn't pay more than double the price. Don't, don't do it, don't. But yeah, those are my thoughts. So I wanna let you guys in on a little secret. Well, it's not really a little secret, but I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. And uh, I can't do that without your help. So I'm asking for your help. If you like this video, please subscribe, please like it and also share it. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much. It really, really means a lot to me. Be sure to check out my other Kylie Cosmetics videos and uh, any other videos that I've got on my channel. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Later, freaks. Just a minute, Felix. Phoebe. Felix, wait. Gotta love this Christmas, but it ain't with me. I watch the snow falling down like a track city. Back to my hometown, back to the whiskey. Back to texting all your exes on Xmas Eve. And I'll be there, yeah. I'll Felix. Be there with your Stop. Stop. Your fucked up hair. And even though you got another man, you could put your bubble glue a nice stand, yeah. Put up the light Oh my god, I just like a snowman in my night airs pine. This is so bad. Wanna in your hair and I swear. Oh god. These nights ain't they rough when This is so horrible, around, but like these were dangling right here and I started going like this and then I was something other than thinking you, another lover so these reunions and black liver I don't know, my mind goes weird places sometimes do I even say this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, now I'm like, ah! You know, I'm just not, I'm not giving to this like. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's, that's enough now. It actually feels softer than our normal -er. normal -er. <laughs> to the whiskey back to texting all your exes on Xmas Eve and I'll Okay now it's on <laughs> God that was so you fucked up hair and even though you got another man you could put your bubble goose on my one night stand yeah you could put something new up into my life Hey guys look I actually got a little thank you card with the um picture of her and the Grinch on it I'm just kidding I didn't didn't get any. any anything Did I swatch one of them twice? That's a computer. I don't even have a picture of the receipt on there. Huh? Oh, I'm so tired. The ride to the wheels fall off this bitch, or at least until December 26th. I've been around these states. I know we are just trying to get through. She gotta love this Christmas, but it ain't with me. I watch the snow falling down.